Hey, good morning, it's Owen Bigland. This is my Inside Edge video blog. It's spring 2016, so we're now heading into the busiest season for real estate, although it has been an absolute record-setting fall 2015 and winter 2016. We're setting all kinds of price records, not only for volume, but also for price. And now we're just beginning to enter the busy spring season where our inventory tends to uh, spike and uh, we have a lot more listings and thus a lot more transactions. And that's the early signs of what's starting to happen. I am starting to see uh, more new listings coming on every day and the inventory levels going up slightly. Not huge, we're still, what I blogged about uh, several months back, at low inventory levels. Uh, and the product is only staying on the market if it's priced right and marketed properly for maybe 10 days at most on market. So homes are selling quickly, but I am starting to see inventory levels starting to creep up slightly, but it's still a strong seller's market uh, and inventory levers are still well below what we normally should have at this time of year. But let's talk about uh, listing your home. If you're thinking about putting your home on the market sometime this spring in our busy season, um, I want to give you a few suggestions because um, what I do, I'm starting to get a lot of phone calls from people. I'm starting to uh, put up quite a few new listings out this spring and I've got some more coming out here in the next four to five weeks. So I'm starting to consult with sellers now. They're calling me up and uh, expressing interest in that they want to sell over the next five to eight weeks, let's say. Now, when I go on and look at a home, it's very seldom uh, that we will look at the house and then list it the next day. We could do that. Sometimes I'll get sellers that will call me up and they, they're in a hurry. They want to get this home listed and sold quick. But if they want to uh, achieve a maximum selling price, and most people do, um, I'm going to consult them on ways to improve the marketability of that home. Um, so I'm going to come out, look at the house, and I'm going to give them some suggestions on uh, how we can increase the value without having usually to spend a lot of money. Or if we do have to spend a bit of money, I'm going to get it back to you, for you in the sale price three or fourfold. So who wouldn't want to take, take me up on that deal? Um, so, you know, I'll come out and if it's, uh, sometimes it can be things like paint, uh, it can be fixing some tile work, maybe uh, it all depends on the client. If they've got a little bit of time, maybe updating a powder bathroom, which is a fairly easy job if the rest of the house is pretty much complete and they're only missing a few little areas, I might suggest if they've got a little time, you can afford it, finish off the rest of the house so it's a turnkey house and we'll get a lot more value for it. Um, it could be recently, you know, just staging the house. Maybe most of the house is fantastic, it shows well, but there's a few rooms, the living room, the den, maybe we could use a little bit of staging. Not expensive, I've got stagers, sometimes it's as little as $2,000, $1,500 just to finish the house. It could be artwork and lamps and that kind of thing just to warm it up. But again, any money that I suggest we spend, uh, I'll get it back for you three or fourfold. If I say we're gonna spend $5,000, I could easily get you back thirty dollars or $40,000 on your final selling price. This is the way I approach it with my clients when I'm getting ready to list a home. I look at it from the point of view of a professional athlete. Any professional athlete who's making big dollars these days uh, is not just walking on the playing field and playing his game. It takes a lot of preparation to get to that point. And uh, that's the way you should sell your house. Uh, sell it with the, the athlete's mindset. Um, I always tell them, let's do everything we can to try and improve the marketability of your home and get you the best selling price. And at least that way, when it, once it's out on the market, hopefully we're going to even get multiple offers and it's going to exceed your expectations as far as price goes, uh, at least you'll know you've done everything in your power to get maximum selling price. It's a good feeling to have. Let the market then dictate what that price is going to be. But let's put it all out on the table here. Let's do everything we can in our power to help improve the marketability of the house. That's always the way I go in uh, with it. And it's kind of an, uh, an athlete's type preparation um, to do it. So, uh, you know, you don't have to take every recommendation I'm going to give you. And I totally understand that. Um, but uh, there's usually some ways that are very inexpensive, might only take a week or two, decluttering, painting, maybe a little staging, that, uh, you know, gee, if you have to spend 5000 or $4,000, but I can get you twenty or 25000 back on the selling price, 
Why not? And remember that $25,000 is tax-free money if it's your principal residence. So on another note, you know, I blogged about this several times last fall. And it was funny, we've had a letter now, a couple of letters that have come out from the Real Estate Council and the Greater Vancouver Real Estate Board on listing homes and taking offers quickly. And uh, I still see homes on the market that are selling on the MLS with zero days on market, one day, two days on market. And I blogged about this last fall. If you're selling your house uh, and taking offers and accepting offers within one or two days, I can pretty much guarantee you have left a pile of dough on the table because you just have not exposed the property to enough potential buyers. And to do that, you need to leave it out there for at least five, six, seven days, expose it, then look at offers. A lot of realtors now, including myself, you're listing the home on a Monday, you're doing showings during the week, you're running an open house Saturday and Sunday, and then looking at offers the following Monday or Tuesday. If you list it and take an offer and accept an offer the next day, don't be expecting to get top price for it. You need to get that property exposed, let buyers see it, uh, hopefully create a multiple offer situation, and that's where the prices can get uh, can really start to uh, uh, peak. So market the home properly, take your realtor's advice on ways to improve the marketability. Any money that I tell you to spend, you're going to get it back in spades. And uh, look at it from an athlete's point of view in preparation. Um, you can always throw it out on the market quick uh, and don't do anything to it. And I have had lots of listings like that and that's just what the seller wants and I totally understand it. But I think most people, including myself, if you said, hey, spend $4,000 but I'm pretty sure I can get you three or four times that back in the selling price and maybe create a lot more multiple offers, uh, then I would uh, be all up for that myself, as I, I think most people would as well. I'm Owen Big Len. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.